Let's make some meal prep today, my friends. But welcome back to the Dan Kitchen. We're getting ready to do the Dan thing. It's gonna be the best meal prep you've ever had in your life. Let's go. Hey, Dan, how are you feeling right now? I'm good, I'm feeling motivated. I'm ready to cook something healthy and fresh and delicious. Nothing, nothing like it. This is my favorite meal prep you will ever have in your life. This is my favorite. I used to make this all the time back when I was getting really healthy. What's up you guys? Dan over here, back in the Dan kitchen, getting ready to do the Dan thing. Today, I got something awesome for you. If you haven't noticed lately, I've been making a lot of healthy stuff because I've been trying to drop some weight and get back in shape. So back about four or five years ago, when I dropped 50 pounds, this was my absolute favorite meal prep that I would make once a month or so. And that was my absolute favorite combination. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. We're gonna walk right through it. And it's super easy, anybody can do it, and we're gonna make it fantastic. So let's jump in and let's get right to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make eight containers, eight meal preps. So I got two pounds of 99% fat-free turkey. So they're gonna be four ounce patties. Is that right, four ounce? Yes, four ounce patties. Then we got some of these rainbow baby carrots. We got red cabbage. And we got some of this uh, rice already cooking on the stove. Let me show you what kind of rice it is. Stay right there. This rice right here, it's the nature's blend. So it's a combination of, uh, what is it? It's purple, red, and brown rice. This stuff's awesome. So we got that rice already cooking. You know how to cook the rice, so we don't have to show you how to do that. But everything we're cooking today is super easy. So let's jump right in, get right to it. Get our knife here, set our turkey open. Like I said, this is 99% fat-free turkey. So we're gonna throw that in. Make sure you, last time I forgot, like that thing like blended into the turkey and I didn't see it and I started mixing it up and I had like turkey paper on my turkey burger. So we're gonna add in our two pounds of ground turkey. Now it's real easy. This right here is chopped spinach, 12 ounces, 12 ounces of chopped spinach, frozen. I just throw it in my little strainer, thaw it out, and you can see I turn it into like little balls because you gotta squeeze a lot of water out of them. I can probably still squeeze a little bit, but I already squeezed the most of it out of, the, out of there. So what you do, you can see it shreds apart really easy. I've actually never used fresh spinach. I'm sure you probably could, but I always do the frozen. I know if I did fresh, it would be more nutritious and all that, but hey, it's still damn good. And it's gonna be Dan Mike. It might be the best damn meal prep you ever had. So we just get it all chopped up just like this. And the next step, now I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like olives. I don't like olives. I don't like green olives, but you know what I do like? I like black olives and I like Kalamata olives. So what I always, my favorite way to make these turkey burgers, and they're even better if you put feta cheese in them, but we're not putting any feta cheese in them. These here, are Kalamata olives. I got the sliced ones, sliced like you would put on a pizza. So we're gonna go in, cause I really love my olives. So I'm gonna put a whole, I already drained the water out of them. I'm gonna put a whole container, it was a six ounce container of Kalamata's. Now, we're not done. We're gonna go with Dano's. We got the green original, we got the red spicy, and we got the Chipotle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the original and the spicy, and I'm gonna put a bunch of it in there. It might make me sneeze. Now everybody's like, oh my gosh, you put so much. I'll show you why here in a second. <laughs> it is getting ready to make me sneeze. Now we got the new hot Chipotle. Pour some of that in there. Now you can see, I don't have to add anything else to this. No salt, no pepper, none of that. Is that a lot of seasoning? Yes, but here's the beautiful thing about Danos. In our small, <laughs> excuse me. In our small little bottles, there's only 50 milligrams of sodium per serving. So that's all the salt that's in the entire bottle. And that's real sea salt, you guys. So yeah, I put a lot in here, but that's probably only like, I don't know, maybe 800 milligrams of sodium to make eight 
burgers actually taste good. And the cameraman's getting ready to sneeze too, or the camera woman. So we're going to get this mixed up. Check it out. Get up in here close. You can see a lot of seasoning on there, but you can see after we get it all blended up, you won't even be able to tell there was a pile of seasoning in there. It's all going to mix in well. <laughs> Bless you. So we just mix it up, mix it up well. Like I said, this is gonna give us eight patties, eight, four ounce. They'll really be bigger than four ounces if we were to weigh them because we did add 12 ounces of spinach and we did add one whole container of Kalamata olives. And we probably added equivalent to like half a small bottle of Danos. Maybe not, probably not even that much. But we'll get this all mixed in. We'll get our patties going. All right. So I guess the easy, the best way to do this is kind of like this. We'll get this thing in a big hunk like this. I'll kind of break it in half like so. So hopefully we got half and half. I'm going to say it needs a little more over here. And kind of break that in half and then kind of grab a chunk of that. So that hopefully is about an eighth of what's in there. And we'll patty this, this out. And we'll just throw this on our baking dish and we'll continue this and we'll make eight of them. And then we'll see you back here in just a minute and I'll show you how to make the sides that I'm going to make that makes this all come together. See you here in a minute. All right, so we got our eight turkey burgers patted out. Look at it. It doesn't even look like turkey anymore. They're brown. You know why? Because we put all that seasoning in there. We put all that flavor in there. We put all that love in there. Yum, yum. Get you some. We're going to throw these in the oven. 400. We're going to give it, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or so. Make sure they're done. Now let's make our other stuff. All right, y'all. Now we're ready to make our cabbage and our carrots. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up my cabbage and basically we just dice it up. So get the cabbage, cut off the rind, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what you call it. I love me some red cabbage. And I'm telling you what, get rid of that part right there. I'm telling you what, when it comes to red cabbage, this totally brings this whole meal prep all together. I'm gonna throw it in my little pan there. And we'll cut this up, give it a couple little chops. You now what makes this so good is all I'm gonna put in with this cabbage is water. Water and a little bit of vinegar, apple cider vinegar and some Danos, some spicy Danos. It's the way I always used to do it. I'm sure you could do the Chipotle or the original, but I love the spicy Danos and this red cabbage with the vinegar and the water. It seriously sets it off. And you have the juice in there. You'll see when we get to the end, what I like to do is take the juice and make sure I put a bunch of that in each meal prep, the juice from this, because what that does, when you reheat that meal prep up, you got that rice in there and you got your vegetables and that juice is gonna make everything like come together. I promise you. All right, cabbage in. Cabbage is in. All right, we're gonna do just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. You don't wanna overdo it. So watch, I literally like no more than probably like, definitely not a fourth of a cup. About that much, that's all we're gonna do. Probably close to a fourth of a cup, but I wouldn't say that was a fourth of a cup. Maybe it was, I don't know, it was about an ounce and a quarter. Used to be a bartender, I know things like that. But uh, so we got that, we need to add some water in this. So I'm gonna give me some water real quick. Well, there's a cup but we need more than a cup. All right, check it out. 
we're gonna put enough water in here because it's cabbage, it's got a lot of water in it. So when it starts cooking, it, the more water is gonna come out of it. But we're gonna put it almost to where it's submerged. Well, I guess that was about four cups, just like that. Almost to where it's submerged, but it's not. And then we're just gonna get us some Danos. Like I said, I love the spicy and the, and the red cabbage. So we'll just pop the top just like that. Put a bunch of it in there. Remember you guys, it's all natural. It's real flavor. So we'll just mix that in and then we'll let it cook. So we'll get us a spoon here in a minute. We'll set that to the side. Now I'm gonna show you how I do these little baby carrots. We are gonna use a little bit of butter. And this is the only thing bad about this entire recipe, you guys. We're gonna use about a little over a quarter of a stick of butter. We're gonna throw that in there. And this is the only other bad thing about this. We're going a little bit of sugar and we're going a little bit of butter to make these carrots. We just gotta have a little bit of sweetness and it's all gonna to come together because when you're making the meal prep and you have that juice from the red cabbage and the rice and it mixed together with the sweet baby carrots, it's over the top so you don't have to do too much just a couple i don't know probably a fourth of a cup but keep in mind we are using two baby bags of baby carrots so let's throw these in here and let's get to cooking and i'm going to show you how i like to cook these carrots because i'm going to cook them on high and we'll throw some water in here with them and literally like the reason why I put the sugar and the butter in there is because they caramelize at the end. Once all the water evaporates out and the carrots are done, we'll get a caramelization on these carrots. So when they sit in your meal prep container and you got everything in there, like I said, with that juice, it's phenomenal. So let's get these cooking on the stove. We got our carrots boiling, power boiling. We added our water in there. So we got a little bit of butter, some sugar and that water. And we're basically gonna boil these so that water gets out of there, evaporates, and gets down to just that sugar and the butter, and the carrots will be done, and we'll get a little caramelization on these carrots. All right, y'all, so come in close and take a look at this. Our carrots, you can see all that water is boiled out. You can see it's just down to, literally, that's just kind of the sugar in there now. And that's gonna caramelize up real quick. And then we'll just turn these off and set them to the side and wait for everything else to be done. But we better make sure our carrots are done. So let's get a bite. Oh yeah. All right, now you can see in the bottom of the pan it's starting to brown up. We're definitely getting rid of all the water. You can smell the, you can smell the sugar cooking now. Well, look at that, perfect. Let's get us a little sample of our carrots. We're gonna get a little sample of the broth too. Needs to cook for just another minute or two, maybe five. Oh yeah, I'm telling y'all, that broth is good for you. Water, apple cider vinegar, and the spicy Danos. I'm telling you, took with that red cabbage, game changer. All right, look, one more look at these. They turned off. Look, it's kind of starting to fall apart, the little ones. Look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right, y'all, so now it's time to make our eight portions. I'm gonna eat one right now because I'm super hungry. I worked out at like 1.30 and now it's like seven o'clock and all I've had is a couple protein drinks. So I can't wait to eat this. So here's the rice I told you all about. The purple, red, brown rice mix looks awesome. So first thing we're gonna do is try and get these all portioned out correctly. So we just give them a little scoop all right, let's take our carrots. Get a few little carrots there. 
A few little carrots there. A few little carrots there. A few little carrots there. You're gonna need a few more over here. But we can take a couple, mix them around. Some have a little more, some a little less. Now let's uh, let's get our turkey burgers here. You can see how they turned out. Perfect. I'm gonna lay the turkey burger in there flat. You know why? Because I said that juice from the uh, from the juice from the cabbage is so good. So we're gonna put that turkey burger in the bottom. So when you go to microwave this in a day or so. It's gonna soak up some of that juice. Bring that flavor back in there. Plus, you know, it's a turkey burger. So they're kind of like dry and flavorless anyway. You gotta really, the more flavor you can add to them, the better. So we're gonna slide that in there right on the bottom. All right. Now it's time for the best part, y'all. The red cabbage with the juice. And we're gonna put it right over kind of top of the rice. Just like that. That is pretty. We're just kind of evening it out right now, make sure we got enough for all of them. It's a big scoop there. We're getting bigger scoops now because I can see you got a lot more. A lot, a lot of cabbage with the juice y'all i'm getting a scoop look at this i'm getting a scoop of the cabbage and a full scoop of juice in there and that's going over the rice and everything sitting down in the bottom just like that i'm gonna go back and put more cabbage in these because i promise you you don't want to be shorted on the cabbage because when you're eating this you're gonna be like man i wish i had more cabbage Now, look at the juice we got left. So we're gonna pour this in. And we're gonna go down the strip. Like I said, I'm starving. So we're gonna dive into one of these right here. And let's get some bites. I'm just gonna take my fork. I'm gonna cut me a little piece of that turkey burger off. Get it in that juice, just like that. That, my friends, is gonna be good. The Kalamata, the olive, the vinegar, the broth that made. Get you a little baby carrot. Mmm, perfect. The rice, the rice with the cabbage. Mmm. I'm telling y'all what, man. Yeah, do I love selling my product? But when I can enlighten people on something awesome like this, I don't know what the calories are. I don't know what the fat content is, but I can tell you it's good and it's good for you. You guys, if you want to see more healthy stuff, or even if you don't, I got plenty of stuff that's not. Make sure you hit a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, keep sprinkling, my friends. Yum yum, get you some. Mmm.